Hello guys, welcome back, and it's another Sega Saturn video. What else? Um, okay, so in my previous video I did all my kind of Saturn shooters, and it, um, I kind of pertained to my next video, this video, being the most expensive Saturn shooters. Now it was going to be a top 10, but after looking through my Saturn collection I, I found a few more than 10 uh, games uh, that I wanted to include. So. The kind of speciality of this video is going to be that I'm not just going to show you top 10, I'm not just going to show you uh, a bunch of Sega Saturn games that are expensive, but I'm actually going to tell you about the prices of them, the current prices and what you can expect to pay for them uh, if you're looking for these particular games. Now I've basically broken these games down into, uh, I've, I've, look, I've looked at the prices of them going on completed listings. So these are games that are sold for these prices, whether they've been bid or bought for. Um, so give you an idea of an average price of these games. Uh, now there are 12 games here, and so I'm going to go from the least expensive to the most expensive. And these are all games, obviously, in my collection. So I'll I'll, I'll, uh, I'll go through them with you. So um, yeah, let's let's dive straight in and find out what they are. You may be shocked to hear some of these prices. I mean. They're pretty crazy, but here we go. Okay. So the first game here is Guardian Force. Now this is uh, one of the shooters. This is one of the, it's not really a vertical or horizontal shooter, but it's more like a, a shooter that moves vertically, sideways, diagonally. Um, but anyway, it's a shooter, it's Guardian Force. And the average price, the last five of these games completed listings, uh, the average price uh, for the last five games of these sold, if I'm making sense, uh, came to £112.06. Now this is not including postage, these are just the sold for prices. So the, the, the average price of the last five of these that sold on eBay went for £112.06. Uh, and that's number 10, so they're going to get more expensive. Okay. Here's one you might expect to be higher up the list, but it's actually number 9. Can you guess what it is? Radiant Silver Gun. Uh, not the expensive game generally compared to the rest of these uh, that it used to be. There are much more expensive games on the Saturn. So the last five completed uh, listings of these, uh, Radiant Silver Gun, uh, went for an average price of £122.17. That's Radiant Silver Gun. Okay, at number eight, this is Stellar Assault. This is um, it's a shooter, but it's um, it's kind of like uh, a 3D shooter. So it's kind of behind cockpit view kind of style shoot so it's not like a arcade vertical or horizontal schmuck uh, but it's a really good game really again one of the more expensive games uh, and the last I can only find two listings the last two listings of this game which I guess kind of shows not how rare it is but you know how more uncommon this game is to be sold uh, so the last two listings of this game sold for an average price of 100 and 29 pounds and 34 pence and that's Stella Assault okay next one this is Steam Hearts okay so the last five listings of Steam Hearts on the Saturn sold for an average price of 132 pounds and 49 pence. So this is a vertical shooter. If you watch my previous pickup videos, you would have seen it, not pickup video, but my shooter mod video previously, um, you would have seen this feature. So it's one of the vertical shooters. It's um, It came from a PC Engine port. Uh, it was on a PC Engine CD, but this is the Saturn version. Okay, number six, uh, this is Butsugan, another vertical shooter. Really nice game here. Uh, now the last five completed sold listings of Butsugan went for an average price of 148 pounds 
and 45 pence. That's an average price, that's crazy. So these, these are all games essentially that are well over the 100, mar 100 pound mark. So, you know, the 10 of these games are gonna cost you well over a grand. Uh, unless you're really savvy. Um, my little eBay tip, or purchasing tip, especially on eBay really, um, but if you're buying games and they are expensive, is to hold out for when it comes up as an auction. Because you do get the best price at auctions, you know. Uh, unless you're really desperate and you, the, the buy now price is a good price and you're happy with. Uh, the best tip from that I can give is to, to wait for the auction. Okay, so this is number five, and this is this is not a shooter. This is a beat 'em up. This is a Street Fighter Zero Three. So absolutely one of the most expensive games on the Saturn. Um, I think there, out of my collection, there are more expensive games possibly on are on the Saturn, but these are just the more expensive ones I have. Uh, in my collection, but there are other games on the Saturn that are just as expensive. Okay, so the last five listings of Street Fighter Zero Three sold for an average price of one hundred and forty-nine pounds and forty pence. So we're getting into the crazy prices now. They're going to start rising quite sharply now. Okay, Battle Gregor. We're just about half, just over halfway through, and Battle Gregor's popped up. So the prices are going to go crazy now. Okay, so the last four listings, the far, last four completed sold listings of Battle Gregor on the Sega Saturn sold for an average price of one hundred and sixty-six pounds and seventy pence. That's crazy. Prices for shooters are just whew, mental. Uh, here's another shooter. This is a dual pack shooter. Um, this is Image Fight and X Multiply. It's part of the Arcade Gears range. And uh, there were five listings of this that previously sold on eBay. And the last, the average price of those last five listings sold for an average price of, get this, 200 and three pounds and 14 pence. Now again, these are average prices, so some of them are lower, some of them are higher, but if you're looking for a, a, an average price of all these games, this is what I'm giving you as of December 2016. Okay, here's the not so worth it, but pretty good shooter, it's Blast Wind. Okay, so the last five listings of Blast Wind on the Saturn sold for an average price of £220.88. Vertical shooter, you know what that is. Right, I'm not going to explain all these again. <laughs> I'm sure you know what they all are. Uh, just interested in the prices, which I found quite interesting myself. I, I didn't expect them all to be this much, but. It's crazy, crazy business. Okay, so Cotton Boomerang, horizontal shooter. Okay, so the last, uh, how many of these were there? Cotton Boomerang, last five listings. Okay, so the last five listings of Cotton Boomerang on the Saturn sold for an average price, this is eye-watering, get ready for this, £271.76. Again, this is all before postage. That's just buying the game. That's the average price. Okay, two left now, two games. Can you guess what they are? Can you guess what they are? You can. You probably can. Uh, one of them's a shooter, and here it is. It's Hyper Duel. Um, this is incredible. Um, actually quite shocked at this. Okay. So get ready. The last five listings of Hyperdool on the Sega Saturn completed sold for an average price of four hundred and twenty-nine pounds and fifty-two pence. Let's start saving. That is crazy. 
400 pounds. Okay, the last game, the last game, the most expensive game I have on the Sega Saturn, average price. Uh, the last five listings of this game, can you guess what it is? You probably can, you probably know what it is. The last five listings of this game sold for an average price of £543.69. Can you guess what it is? It's my most expensive Sega Saturn game. Yep, Shinrei Jusatsushi Tarumaru, Psychic Killer Tarumaru. And there it is. It's my most expensive Sega Saturn game. So as of December 2016, those are your top 12 most, ex well, my most expensive Sega Saturn games. That's, uh, that's it for me. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. If you like, please give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video, whenever or whatever they might be, that may be. Bye for now.